Now to that breaking news that's happening in Raleigh right now. CBS North Carolina, Steve Sprasia is on the scene. Steve, what have you learned? I just finished talking to an eyewitness. Her automobile was next to the automobile where the shooting happened. She said she's too scared to go on camera, but let me walk you through this thing chronologically. Take a look over here in the shopping area. She said, starting over there where they see that police car, two men were being chased. Oh, one man was being chased by a second man. Follow along by the Family Dollar Store and again over here to this area. She said, as the people were being chased, what happened was she saw a red automobile being driven by a woman. The man and being chased tried to get into the automobile being driven by that woman. At that point, the person chasing him, this is according to the eyewitness, caught up with him. A scuffle ensued at the door of the automobile, and apparently right there where you're looking right now, you can see some, some debris on the ground. That is the spot where the shooting happened. The scuffle occurred at the door, and when it did happen, according to this witness, a shot was fired. The person who was chasing the man fell to the ground with a wound, and another shot was fired. Apparently, one window in that automobile was blown out. She said the man being chased then jumped in the automobile with the woman, and they drove on out of here. She said she ran over to the person who was laying on the ground, and he kept saying, I can't feel my legs, I can't feel my legs. An ambulance was called. They arrived on scene. Here's part of the interesting part of this whole situation. This shopping mall has its own private security. You can see them patrolling here. They wear uniforms. They're in an automobile marked security. Also, this is the same shopping mall. Take a look over there where the Mr. Pawn shooting happened a while back where a pawn shop owner was killed in this pawn shop. So this shopping mall is no stranger to violence. Again, we're still trying to put the story together, but what we've learned so far is that a man was being chased by another man. He tried to get into an automobile to get away. A scuffle ensued at the door of the automobile. Shots were fired. The man who was chasing him ended up going down with bullet wounds. Reporting live, I'm Steve Sprazier, CBS North Carolina.